Welcome to Ekenic. In this video, I want to show you how to kind of troubleshoot that um, TPMS light. Try to figure out why that's on. Uh, of course, sometimes you know you could have um, low pressure, but you know that's not always the case because if you correct the pressure and the light's still on, that means there's an underlying issue. A really common problem is one of the TPMS sensors is um, has weak batteries and they're not communicating with the car anymore. But that's not always the case, so that's what we're going to take a look here. Uh, you can do a couple of things. You can go to Diagnostics and then select BMW, Control Modules, and TPMS, and read the codes. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit different because we're going to look at two things. How to read the codes and how to program a new TPMS sensor. So if you replace it and code it to the vehicle. So you select Maintenance here and then scroll down to TPMS and select BMW. And select your series, seven series. Now um, you need to know the sensor type, frequency, but they're usually by uh, year ranges. So like this is a 2017. Um, so and this actually it's a year and then the production month. So the month is going to be on the sticker, on the VIN sticker on the vehicle. So in this case, it's a it's it's, um, let's see, it's 2016 and 2003, uh, but be careful though because it might be, sometimes you might have more than one options to select, so I'm going to select that here, and then you can go to TPMS, you can here read the codes, if you get no communication when you hit TPMS, that means you probably selected the wrong uh, sensor frequency, uh, so... But in this case, we should be able to communicate with the control module, so that means we select like the right, um, uh, the right TPMS frequency. So you can do a few things here. You can actually see the sensor IDs, all the sensors, uh, front left, front right, right, rear right, rear left. You can see the IDs and read the codes. So here is a case where the DSC. Um, initialization is not performed so that TPMS is not programmed correctly um, there's another code right there and then there's signal invalid from BDC central gateway module so you have a few issues on this case um, you can try to clear those codes but they're permanent codes they're not gonna clear if they do clear they might just come right back up when you restart so I'm not going to try that at all learn how this is where you program the new TPMS sensors. Now let's say your front left uh, sensor has a dead battery. Now there's a couple ways that TPMS sensors are programmed. Uh, one way is where you take like a universal sensor and you come here and those universal sensors don't have an ID, almost like an a individual with no social security number. So like what you do with the universal ones, you find out what ID is stored on that initially or the on that front left and then you write it to the universal um, TPMS sensor after you install it now so front left the ID is 518A1BB8 the problem is that those universal um, sensors let's say if they were made by X company you need the tool from the X company to program that sensor but if you buy, let's say, a sensor from the manufacturer, it will not be blank. Um, it will already have an ID. A lot of times it's going to be written on the, the box that you buy on the sensor itself on the back. So it will have this ID pre-programmed. It will be different uh, because they're unique, technically. So what you would do if you bought it from a, um, the TPMS sensor from the manufacturer or even after market one but as long as it has a pre-written sensor ID then you would go to learn help now in some models you would have to enter the ID and you'd enter the new one for the front left that you get from the box and you rewrite the other ones uh, the same as they as they already are here because you're not changing the rest of them and then you press OK in this model you have to follow a certain procedure you have to basically go to iDrive and then uh, initialize the sensor learning procedure and then, then you have to drive 
with speeds between 16 miles to 64 miles per hour for a few minutes and that the car will automatically recognize that uh, sensor ID. So it can be a little bit tricky when you program um, uh, TPMS sensors to your BMW. The easiest one would be to get a TPMS sensor that has a pre-written, um, already has an ID pre-programmed in it and then just follow the learning procedure and um, you know it will be automatically recognized or if you need to on this 7 series this is a procedure how it's recognized on some you do have to enter and code it with the scan tool um, but yeah and you can see this and you don't necessarily need to have on this 7 series you don't necessarily have to have the scan tool uh, so you can see the instructions here as far as like um, how to initially start that um, TPMS sensor programming if you already installed it. So try this and if it doesn't work then you probably need a scan tool so you can read the codes and see what's going on with your TPMS system. Thank you for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.